I'm Capitol Television's Dave Barber. Today on the third floor of the Rhode Island State House in something that we call Capitol Spotlight. We visit with members of the General Assembly and discuss many of the things they've been working on and its impact on you, the Rhode Island citizen. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome back a gentleman that we've had the good fortune of interviewing before, Representative Sam Azanero. Representative, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Good to be back. Well, yeah, although it probably doesn't seem like you've been gone that long because uh, the General Assembly reconvened in the fall to deal with the pension issue. Right. That was a big job, but it was an important job. Ab absolutely. The, the most important thing we've done in, since I've been up here, I think, and I'm starting my third uh, session, so at the end of my second term. So uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, now get into the municipal pensions, if that's what we uh, intend to do. They need help, and we have, to, we have to help them. Well, Representative, I know one thing that you are going to be focused on this coming session that will definitely make the ears perk up of our viewers, uh, centers on the car tax. Can, can you brief our viewers about that as to what you hope to accomplish? Well, I started working on this last year, and my legislation didn't get to committee. Uh, but I was glad to see that uh, Representative uh, McNamara, McNamara uh, picked this up because it's in his section, his uh, district that made up all of the noise that was going on, and I don't and I don't blame him. I don't blame people for being upset. Uh, I don't want to knock the commission. Uh, it's a tough thing to do. We need to get a proper, fair formula for uh, taxing an automobile, and I've got some thoughts on it. I'm sure Representative McNamara has thoughts on it, and along with the commission having their thoughts on it. You know, uh, we interviewed Representative McNamara on a recent uh, Straight from the Gavel uh, segment, and we talked about this at length. I and you really, you really hit the nail on the head. You want some type of an evaluation that's fair. People understand what the car tax is, but if they're getting taxed on a vehicle that they couldn't sell for $500 at a $5,000 level, that's going to upset some folks. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we had the, the big problem, two big problems, you have to... Uh, value the car at a fair rate. Now, you can't say that all cars are of the clean re retail value, right. because they're not. Right. And no one's going to go out and look at these vehicles. So there has to be an, a, a middle of the road uh, formula where the car is worth a, a good value. The second thing is the percentages that were set up on the uh, taxing the vehicles. They were all over the place, and that needs to be straightened out. And I have a, a, a formula that myself and my town manager have come up with, and uh, hopefully uh, with all of us working on it, we'll get it right. Let, let, let's take that to the next level. When you talk about that formula, uh, let's face it, different communities pay different rates. Are, are you suggesting that one day it would be your hope to have some kind of universal formula that would apply to every citizen in the state of Rhode Island? Well, that would be nice, but I don't know that we can do that because every town and city has their own amount of uh, money that they need to meet their budget. Uh, now, I'll give you an example. Westerly has a $29.70 uh, per thousand valuation. Providence now currently, I believe, has a $60 per thousand valuation. So that would, it would almost be impossible to do. Not impossible, but almost impossible. I'm talking about the percentage, percentages that the car is taxed on. Right. So that's what needs to be straightened out and a fair way to put a good value on the car. Well, I know a lot of people watching right now are really pulling for you on that because uh, a lot of people, like you mentioned, especially down in Warwick, made a lot of noise and uh, certainly for good reason. So uh, you'll, you'll definitely have a lot on your plate in dealing with that. One of the other things, speaking of cars, um, I understand too that you'd like to see the DMV uh, reopen at least on a part-time basis in Westerly. Bring us up to date on that. Well, uh, this has been my pet peeve since I've been here and I did get legislation passed where Westerly would have a branch one day per week and by law open one day per week. It hasn't happened yet but uh, we're working on it. We're, when I'm not giving up on this. I will not give up on it and uh, 
We are currently waiting for some word back from uh, Mary Booth Gologli from the governor's office. Well, and that would certainly be convenient for your constituents in Westerly. Representative, I wish you and uh, your colleagues the very best, and uh, thank you for joining us, and my best uh, to everyone in the new year. Well, let's have a healthy, happy new year to all. Thank you so much. You know, this is an opportunity for you to meet some of the representatives here from the state of Rhode Island on something we call Capital Spotlight. I'm Dave Barber for Capital TV.